Welcome to FM 0.01. I am your host tonight, DJ Red Rum. Tonight, I am going to be sharing one of my friend's stories. My friend, he's called. Actually, I don't even know his name, but it's not important anyways. The more important thing is his story. Let's just call him Jason. Jason is a national track and field athlete. He has won countless medals for the country. Today, just like any other day, he's winning again. The reason why he's always winning is because he has a pair of strong legs that are able to propel him forward in a short time. The story begins in the resting area where Jason feels slightly dizzy and contemplates the need for more protein. <sighs> Suddenly, someone blows into his ear, leaving him feeling uneasy. Who is causing trouble? Hey bro, it is just a prank. A big guy emerges, laughing and commenting on Jason's sensitivity to the prank. What's wrong with you? Hey bro, don't be angry. Confused, Jason questions the big guy about his presence instead of preparing for his upcoming match. The big guy dismisses the topic and shifts the focus to the boils on Jason's leg, wondering if they are a result of an allergy. Jason dismisses it as mere rashes caused by the hot weather. The big guy expresses his need for help, sharing his unsatisfactory performance in recent matches and the looming threat of elimination. He admires Jason's ability to consistently achieve great results and pleads for him to reveal his secret. Please. Reluctantly, Jason agrees, urging the big guy to release him before feeling suffocated. All right, let go off me. In a mysterious and eerie location, the big guy expresses his unease about the surrounding jungle, sensing an unsettling presence observing their every move. Don't worry, man. Jason reassures him, assuring that they are close to their destination. Look, over there. Eventually, they reach a spooky restaurant, surprising the big guy who doubted its existence in such a remote area. Jason explains that the establishment only caters to loyal customers. Welcome! A well-dressed waiter welcomes them, addressing them as esteemed guests and guiding them to their table. Wow, he is dressed just like a butler. Your meals are ready. Thanks for the good food. Jason expresses gratitude for the food while the waiter acknowledges his politeness, emphasizing the honor of serving him. The big guy questions the legitimacy of the restaurant, to which the waiter serves their meals. Here you go. What the? Shocked, the big guy exclaims upon discovering the dishes consist of bugs. This, this is a bug? He confronts Jason about it, who proudly admits that these unusual delicacies contributed to his consecutive victories. Encouraging the big guy to try them, Jason claims they hold the key to becoming a winner. Don't you want to be the winner? Screw it! After initial hesitation, the big guy decides to embrace whatever it takes for his future. Damn! It is so good! Do you want some? I am good. As the mysterious guy at the other table bursts into laughter, the big guy becomes bothered by his staring, finding it disturbing and rude. Jason playfully teases the big guy, suggesting that the mysterious guy might be interested in his chisel body. Curious about the situation, Jason approaches the mysterious guy and clarifies that it was just a joke. He introduces him as a regular customer and a good friend. Jason then asks the mysterious guy, Mr. Redrum, if he's not going on air tonight. Your friend is interesting. He insisted on coming. Jason jokingly agrees that his friend can be annoying at times and suggests that he might be better off away from him. Redrum responds with amusement, acknowledging the allure of Jason's eatery and remarking that he frequently visits because of the delicious food. They share a laugh together. I enjoy seeing your friend eating. A week later, Jason is seen running on the sports track when a group of girls excitedly recognizes him. They introduce themselves as his juniors and express their admiration, asking if he can teach them to become as amazing as he is. Can you teach us, please? Jason, busy at the moment, proposes meeting another time. But I am busy today. 
He suggests bringing them to a special place the following week to reveal the secret behind his success. The girls eagerly agree, considering Jason a kind singer with good looks, a great physique, and impressive athleticism. Is everything going well? Back in the restaurant, Jason checks in with the waiter, inquiring about the progress. The waiter assures him that everything is going well and the ingredients are prepared for him as the head chef. Pleased with the update, Jason expresses his enthusiasm to sample the dish. The waiter acknowledges his request and informs him that it will be served shortly. As the story comes to an end, one might ponder the possibility, is Jason really eating his friend to gain strength for his legs? The spooky restaurant and the revelation of consuming bugs for victory all create an air of mystery. Could there be a hidden truth behind Jason's success? Tell us your thoughts in the comment below. See you and stay tuned next spooky tales from DJ Red Rum.